Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll look at the implementation of the partial list square algorithms in scikit-learn. So we'll specifically look at how to implement PLS canonical, PLS regression, and the canonical correlation analysis using a toy dataset from the scikit-learn datasets. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and see how we can do this. Here in Jupyter Notebook, I have imported uh, these libraries, uh, mainly the cross underscore decomposition from where we have the PLS canonical, PLS regression, and the CCA library. And these are the versions that I'm using. Now, what we'll do first is we'll import a data set and that will be uh, let's try the boston housing data set for this example and we'll shift one column into the target column so let's see how we can x comma y is equal to data sets dot load underscore boston return underscore x underscore y is equal to true and we can check the shapes of x and y so we have one, we have 506 records there. Now uh, let's shift uh, one feature, shift a feature from X as a output Y, so that uh, we have at least two uh, two targets in Y uh, when we use PLS. So for this, we'll uh, concatenate that. And if you look at the description, so let me pull the description for it. Copy this and remove this part. Add data here, then print, print data.descr. And here in the description, you'll see that there is a feature that is average number of rooms per dwelling. So we can use this feature in the target along with the um, target feature that already exists, which is the median value of the household. So that will give us two targets. And to do this, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, so that is the index 5 that we need to transfer. So let's try that. Concatenate. And we'll concatenate, concatenate Y. And we'll reshape that to a column. And to this, we are going to add the number 5 column. The column at index 5. So this is 3. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and that again will reshape it. Reshape minus one, comma one, and then we need to specify the axis is equal to one. So that's for x, y, and then we need to remove that column from the x. Uh, to do that, we'll type np dot delete, and then x, comma that's the uh, five index that we are going to delete the same index that we used above. And again, we need to specify the axis. So axis is equal to one. And now we can check the shapes again. So print x dot shape and y dot shape. And so now we have one column less in x and one column more in y so that is good next uh, what we can do is visualize the correlation so we don't expect any correlations here uh, so most of the visualize so most of the features here should be independent sns dot heatmap np dot curr coef x and then the row var is equal to false 
and now when we run this here we can see that we have 11 features and most of them are uh, almost all of them are uncorrelated here except for this feature um maybe seven and eight there seems to be somewhat correlation but that should be okay now let's go ahead and split the uh, training set so x underscore train x underscore test y underscore train y underscore test is equal to train underscore test underscore split and we have x comma y and now we can look at the shapes of x underscore train dot shape and x underscore test dot shape and uh, let's look at the y as well so y underscore train dot shape and then y underscore test dot shape and as we can see here we have the two columns in the y and 12 columns in x we have 379 records for training now um, we have three different models that we, we can create and for that we'll create the list so yeah here fit and predict and for this we have reg or pls underscore list so this is the list of models we'll create here and the first one is pls canonical and n underscore components is equal to n we'll specify the n here as we start out with two and then we'll give again the name pls canonical and then the next one is pls regression and again n underscore components is equal to n and this is p ls regression and after that we have a uh, pca again n underscore components is equal to n and then we have mscca so with that list we can now uh, create a for loop to iterate through it so we have for model name in pls underscore list uh, so we have model dot fit x underscore train y underscore train and then we have um, y pred so we can now predict so y underscore pred is equal to model dot predict and here we have x underscore test and then with that we can now get the scores so msc is equal to matrix dot mean underscore squared underscore error and we have y underscore test y underscore pred and then we can also get the r2 is matrix dot r2 underscore score y underscore test y underscore pred and we can print all the results so print and here we can add a hyphenated line print name and then again print the hyphenated line there and after this we can print the score so print msc is this and print r2 and this is going to be the r2 score that we have and that's it so here we can add a new line and we should run be able to run this now so here uh so print that 50 should not appear there so that's because this is not okay that should be star there all right so here as we can see uh, we have about the same msc for regression and the canonical uh, correlation analysis and pls canonical has a higher uh, value for the 
um, MSE. Now, these results don't mean much in this case because the data is not uh, suited for this model, but still, uh, the, just the process of running this model, this data through these model is pretty standard scikit-learn way to do it. And few items that I would wanted to show is the transform. So, so here we have the model. So that's the model. Let's say we have the CCA model. We can use that to transform the X. So currently the X that we have, it has this shape. Uh, which is 512 records however the x train if we look at x train uh, it also has the 512 records right now what we can do is do the transform uh, so model dot transform and we can transform the x underscore train and so now if we look at the shape after we transform or if we look at this we just get two columns out of 12 when we transform x train and if we round this we can see that the second column is almost zero for most part and there's so essentially only the first component or the first singular vector is able to uh, uh, find the direction of uh, direction of highest variance in the data and it is uh, therefore that vector has non-zero values and the other vector has mostly zero values so here instead of two if we type more than two values let's say if we type five and if we run this and when we come down here we still get just these two uh, components in the transformed matrix even though we specified five and that's because we also have this error here which says uh should be in one minimum features uh n samples and n targets so here uh, the minimum is we just have two targets and therefore the n components have has to be uh two uh and it cannot be more than two and therefore that's that's the warning so if we again change that back to two we don't get that warning so that was it for this video uh, i know this was a very short video and uh, uh i hope in this video you uh got to uh do some hands-on code on implementing the pls canonical pls regression and the CCA methods on the toy data sets, uh, which is the Boston housing. You could also try this on the diabetes data set and shuffle some of the columns around and see how you get. In the next video, we'll do a real world example on chemo metrics. So where we'll use the near infrared spectra and analyze that using the PLS method and in that video i'll highlight why that method is one of the desired method to solve that type of problem until then please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you